Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Raising Health and I am Colleen the Coach. So guys, if you are tuning in, I sincerely hope you have subscribed and you know, if we, for those of you who are watching this for the first time, this is a teaching channel and I'm here to teach you how to eat right for life. Okay, so what am I going to be doing this week? So um, I found this list, okay, and it's a survey that was done. 564 registered dietitians for its annual What's Trending in Nutrition survey. Okay, and I love this kind of stuff because I always need to make sure that I am not missing a beat and I'm making sure that my clients are all eating food that they can trust and everything is bursting with nutrients. <laughs> Okay, so guys, this is super exciting because when I looked at this list, I realized, oh my goodness, because pretty much every single one of these food types on this list is what I prescribe for my clients. So this is super, super cool. So let's get the show on the road. And then I'll also just give you a few examples of how I actually get my clients to eat these types of foods. So it's going to be pretty cool. So stay tuned. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. It is totally free. And then each time I put out a video, which is every Thursday, you will get a notification. And hopefully I will teach you how to eat right with food that you can trust and get you started on a brand new path to longevity. Okay, guys, just so you know that I do have a book that is coming out this month. I'm super excited. It's called the 10-Day Rezone Diet. And this 10-Day Rezone Diet, guys, I can assure you, everything I'm about to talk about, you will be able to have in your 10-Day Rezone Diet because I'm all about chasing nutrients and making sure that you are loving the food that you eat. Okay, number one. Okay, this is the order that they give it to us in. These 10 foods were named the most worthy superfood status and these are hmm, absolutely incredible. And for those of you who do not know what a superfood is, a superfood is an excellent source of important nutrients, okay? So we need superfoods. And if you guys can, you know, to make a list, get, get your pen and paper out. And I'm serious, guys, buy these ingredients. You will not be sorry. And I'll do my best to teach you how to eat these things. Okay, number one, fermented foods. What I do is I get my clients to do proper, good, wholesome Greek yogurt. And the thicker, the better. Okay, so I have this recipe that, I mean, it's been going on for years and years. I have clients coming back to me <laughs> like four years ago, from four years ago. And they are still doing this. We do Greek yogurt, chia seeds, um, blueberries. You can have some seeds if you like, but it's going to come back to what I'm about to say. So I'm not going to, you know... Room next slide. Number two, we have blueberries. Great antioxidants. These look these little blueberries are mighty, 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 guys. They are so good for you. They will protect your cells against damage and free radicals. So again, and I know sometimes it's not that easy to get blueberries, but I keep a, a pile of blueberries here in my freezer so that if I cannot get fresh from the store, I then just use my frozen berries. And honestly, they make such a mean smoothie as well. And of course, you can use your Greek yogurt, you've got your blueberries, you know what, hey, like we're starting to tell a tale here. Okay, the next thing, number three, okay, this is their order, not mine, I'm just selling you, this is me following the um, process here. The third one is seeds, guys. I, t I did a video last week on chia seeds, seriously, these chia seeds are flipping incredible. Okay, so seeds, like chia seeds, are nutritional powerhouse, these are particularly packed with again more antioxidants minerals fiber omega-3s guys this is really i mean it's just i'm just looking at this now and i'm even thinking to myself wow 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 so this little recipe that i've got everyone on a daily basis is incredible like it just proves that it's literally snack on steroids okay guys avocado now if you are one of my clients and you are listening to this or you have been one of my clients you will know but I encourage you to eat half an avocado a day. I mean, in the video I did last week, you'll see, I did my 90 second bread 
which also had the almond flour. So this brings us back to our nuts, which is going to be point number five. Oh, I get so excited because everything I get you guys to eat is here. It are, are superfoods, guys. Seriously. Okay, so the avocado. I mean, seriously, the half an hour a day is literally the best thing you can do for yourself. It is honestly the healthiest food I can honestly say literally on the planet. I know I'm getting a little bit carried away here, but I really am passionate about these hours. Guys, I have got a chocolate mousse recipe. Honestly and truly, you have that with a bowl of fresh strawberries. Oh, my goodness, like honestly, you... <laughs> hmm, I'm not going to say anything more. What else do they say here about avos? Okay, heart healthy fats. We know about that. Loaded with antioxidants and nutrients. Yes, yes, yes. Cholesterol, all the good cholesterols, bone density, skin care, eye health and more. Okay, so as a, you know, as the author who was putting out this survey mentioned you know like try it on toast da da 90 second bread okay we'll put that video down in the content so you can actually learn how to make 90 second bread and then get out your half an hour smash it on and wow you are literally <laughs> having a snack on steroids that's what i did today i had my avo and my 90 second bread my goodness, it's delicious, delicious. Okay, nuts and nut butters. My personal favorite is almond butter and peanut butter, but obviously unsweetened. Absolutely love it. I don't eat red meat or chicken, so I'm always looking for ways to get my protein in. And guys, literally nut butters are incredible. So of course, you know the nuts as well. And did you know that almond nuts are alkaline? So you know, I really, my go-to nuts, I did, what did I do this week? Oh my goodness, I roasted some Brussels sprouts with some roasted almonds. My goodness, goodness, goodness. It was amazing. Point number six, green tea. Okay, also anti-inflammatory and immune boosting properties, guys. So, you know what, if you can get yourself a cup of green tea, um, you can even have a, your, your cup of green tea while you're fasting because obviously I'm also encouraging intermittent fasting, guys. And you know what? It's nothing wrong with having a cup of green tea in the mornings. Black, obviously. Okay, pulses. Ooh la la. This is, this is the one I really love. I'm, I must be honest, guys. I'm not a lentil fan. And they just don't work for my body. I make my tummy sore and I feel bloated and it's just really uncomfortable. And I've already shattered two teeth with the little stones that you will find in lentils. So I cannot eat lentils without having a few post-traumatic stress experiences. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, so, but the one I really love, and that is our hummus. You know, hummus for me is like, as long as there's hummus in the fridge, there is food, you know? And of course that's our chickpeas, and then we've got our sesame seeds as well. So hummus is a really good dip. It's like so tasty, it's really delicious. You know, even what I've had before, my goodness, I've just remembered this. Even to do some hummus on your 90 second bread. Absolutely, absolutely delicious, guys. Mushrooms. Now, this is like very, very interesting. Now, mushrooms have just made this. I'm going to go on to the three superfoods that have just made this list in 2024. But mushrooms is one of them, which is really exciting because I really enjoy my mushrooms. Mushroom soup and I add a bit of coconut cream to it and some chili. Guys, it is absolutely delicious. And then what I also do is I get like those big portobello mushrooms, slice them into strips, and just, you know, rub them in some olive oil and some Himalayan salt and pepper. Or sometimes I'll use a little bit of nutritional yeast and I put them in the air fryer. Mm, my goodness, it was a couple of months ago, weeks ago, I should say, like maybe December. Jim said to me, oh, he goes, uh, we've got bacon. I mean, I've never bought bacon. So I mean, I do not, I don't eat meat. Why would I buy bacon? And um, Jim's like, oh, it tastes like bacon. And I'm like, no, darling, it's mushrooms. So really, now really dehydrate them and, and, and they're tasty. And oh, my goodness, even so really good in your omelets or in your scrambled eggs as well, guys. I mean, mushrooms. There's so many ways to eat mushrooms. Okay, ancient grains made number nine. Now, this is quite interesting because what are ancient grains? So obviously there are a couple of ancient grains that I, grains that I cannot pronounce, but the one that we all know is quinoa. Okay, so I absolutely love quinoa because, you know, for someone who is always trying to keep their diet low carb and always looking for proteins to get in because I don't eat red meat or chicken, I'm a pescatarian, I enjoy getting my quinoa out. And often what I do, a little trick, I get my holly rice 
and I just put that in. I did this last night as a matter of fact, guys. I did my collie rice and I just did this. I did it in the pan and I just got it all kind of like I did it pretty hot because I like it nice and roasted. And then obviously in, a, in a different parts, I've got my quinoa going. And then you kind of just like, you know, mix the two together, let it stir fry a little bit longer in the pan. Sometimes I add in my mushrooms, etc. Especially if I take the mushrooms out the air fry and they're all nice and dried up and tasty into the stir fry. I'm serious, guys. It is like, you can imagine, it's like, you know, it's like a side dish on steroids. Serious. So I really, really love these ancient grains, the quinoa, um, you know, and again, vitamin B. Uh, minerals iron uh, magnesium and zinc so seriously guys like there's no there's no excuse and besides if you start eating quinoa you'll never eat rice again and you don't need rice okay guys salmon is number 10 finally 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 salmon has made it this year okay i love my salmon i must be honest i'm very fussy about my salmon i'm very reluctant to eat salmon out when I go to restaurants in one place, no, two places that I trust. And seriously, guys, we have now been getting our salmon from a place in Canada because we did the research. And seriously, guys, you know, you have to, have to be fussy about your fish. Know where it comes from, guys. Know where it comes from. But I'm super excited that salmon has finally made the cut and... <laughs> says here what does it say okay hop on the salmon train your entire body and brain will thank you okay this fatty fish is full of omega fatty acids lean protein it's tasty and it's filling and it is extremely good for you seriously guys honestly i love this list okay so the three that came in that wasn't on this list before um we have our pulses which i've spoken to you about um, other types of legumes um, besides pulses, okay, because you do know that pulses are a legume. There's a whole little story behind that, but I'm not going to get into that right now because I am then going to be going off topic. Okay, but other types of legumes are your soya beans. I'm not a fan of soya beans, but there is a place for that. And of course, my absolute favorite is peanuts. And then I also enjoy fresh peas. So that's pretty cool. We've spoken about mushrooms. Mushrooms have made it. Wow, hey, uh, it's the eighth trendiest superfood of the year. Okay, and we've spoken about our salmon. Guys, seriously, these are every single thing here is foods I promote. Okay, I promote to my clients to eat. I encourage it. It's in my eating plans. My clients get meal options, and every single thing I have mentioned is in the meal options that I prescribe. Oh, and the 10 day rezone diet. Guys, everything here is in those 10 days. These 10 days are designed to teach you. It's a quick reboot to teach you how to get detoxed, how to get on the wagon and get started. And it's not just that. I mean, there's so many more practices. So guys, honestly and truly, we are all about food we can trust. We promote food you can trust. We want you to be strong. We want you to be fit. We want you to be healthy. I want you to be the best version of yourself. You know, and guys, seriously, get your shopping list out. Put these ingredients on your shopping list, guys. If you don't know how what to do with these meals, seriously, that is no excuse. If you know how to use the internet, you know how to look for recipes, honestly and truly. There's absolutely no excuse. And if you really, 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 really have nowhere to start, just send me a message. I promise you right now, I will send you one or two links that will educate you and get you started, you know, and... I'm here to help you and I honestly, I can't express this enough guys, every single thing that I've mentioned today here could save your life, okay, and get your kids into this, I mean I've spoken to you about avocado chocolate mousse recipes, I've spoken to you about the benefits of nuts, berries guys, blueberries, I mean seriously your kids are going to love this, absolutely love it. There are so many ways to get these superfoods into your children, don't give them sugar, don't give them processed foods. I read this article, I mentioned it in one of my videos a couple of weeks ago, about this article that processed foods, which I classify as sugar as well, 
um, should be banned and treated in the same way that the cigarette ban has been. Guys, in this article, and I'm going to actually get it out sometime and, and perhaps just share it with you because honestly and truly, you guys are in trouble. I'm in trouble. We're all in trouble. Our children are in trouble. And we really and truly have to nip this in the bud. And if you have children, it starts with you. The buck starts with you. It is your responsibility to educate your children. And if you are going to be giving your children sugary treats every time they go where. I can tell you right now, you are creating a monster and the chances are you're going to be dealing with a whole host of problems as they hit their teens. Guys, just seriously, don't even get me started. This is a serious, serious situation the world is in. The world is groaning, groaning in agony around the abuse of processed, processed foods and sugar. And not just that, I mean, there's alcohol, there's all sorts of things. People are abusing themselves, <laughs> You're abusing your bodies. If you're not taking care of what you are eating and putting into your body. I can tell you guys right now, you're in for a hard, hard time, a really hard time. You're going to have health related issues. You're going to have hormone problems. You're going to have gut issues. You're going to probably be overweight, maybe even heading towards diabetic. Uh, the list is endless, guys. Stop it. Seriously, stop it. Just, this is simple. There are 10 things for you to just try you know, and just get out, get, get, go onto the internet and look for recipes. And if you do see things that perhaps has sugar, change it to xylitol, you know, you don't have to put sugar in. Look for gluten-free options because then you'll get the recipes with the nut flowers. Guys, make an effort. Seriously, one recipe a week. Try, make an effort. And if you really are stuck, reach out to me because I'm here to help you. Okay, guys, that is enough from me. I am preaching to you about food that you should be eating. And I really, really am passionate about this. So please just go for it. And if you think you have friends and family who would benefit from a teaching channel, we are teach you how to eat right for life. Please, guys, share. Press subscribe because then you'll be notified when the next video comes out. And guys, I really do care about you. So I just want you to know that I love you and I care about you. And I am super excited about this journey. And I'll be back next week to teach you how to eat right for life. Thank you, guys. Ciao, ciao.